Hello there, I'm Mike the Gardener and as you probably saw from the opening shots we're going to do something Penstemon related in today's how-to video. I'm going to show you how to take cuttings of Penstemons to make sure they get through the winter just in case we have a bad one and also to ensure we've got lots of new plants for free next year. So for this how-to you'll need some Penstemons obviously a pair of sharp secateurs to take the cuttings, a plastic bag, now I use a freezer bag with a sealable top to actually put the cuttings in until you've got time to actually take them, a sharp pen knife to actually trim the cuttings, a pot of multi-purpose compost with grit, about a 50-50 mix, multi-purpose compost and grit, and a dibber to actually all the cuttings into the compost and I think I said last time I use an old paintbrush to do that. Okay I've got two penstemons here I've got garnet which is this very fine leaved specimen which is more likely to go through the winter but the broader leaf specimens like this one here pentium czar is less likely to so as a broad rule of thumb the broader the leaf the less likely it is to go through the winter. Okay, so to take the cuttings, you want to actually cut just above a leaf node and you want a non-flowering shoot. So there's no flowers on this shoot here and eventually it will be about the height of your thumb down to the bottom of your thumb. So we're gonna train and trim some of that off in a moment. So I'll just take one more so again, just above a leaf node, and there you are, there's your cuttings. So once you've got your cuttings, they need to go inside a plastic bag, just to keep them fresh and so they don't wilt. And we'll take those away now and we'll actually trim them up and pot them into the compost. Okay, so we've got our cuttings we can take them out of the plastic bag which has kept them nice and turgid full of water and now we're just going to trim them up so we need first and foremost to take the growing tip out of the penstemon so that's just the last top leaves I've taken out of the top and when you're taking a cutting you need to trim just below a leaf node so I'm taking a sharp pen knife and just going in underneath the leaf node, being careful not to take my thumb off in the process, and then I'm just going to pinch off the bottom leaves because the more leaves you have on there the more likely it is to wilt because it will lose more water through the leaves that remain on there and you literally just want to have, I've got four leaves on there and you'll see that is the size of my thumb from top to bottom. So you take your cutting and your dibber and up the edge of the pot is better. Just waggle the dibber in there and stick the cutting in just below where the leaves are. So pretty much all of the stalk is down the side of the pot there and then just gently firm the compost around the edge of the cutting. Okay, so I've got four cuttings in here around the edge of the pot. Now I'm just going to water those in. I've labelled them up with the date that I've taken the cutting so I can look back and see what time of year I did that. And then I'm going to put these in the propagator in the greenhouse. They don't need any heat. I'm just going to put them in an unheated propagator. If you haven't got a propagator, you can put four bamboo canes around the edge of the pot and then pop a plastic bag over the top of those and just secure that with a elastic band. And then after about six weeks, they will actually start to root. And I'll come back then and I'll show you what needs to be done next. Okay, Willow. We've got the penstemon cuttings, these are going to go into the propagator and put the cover over there and we'll be back in about six to eight weeks to see how they're going on and I'll show you what needs to happen next. So, 
from Willow and I, that's it for today, and we'll see you next time. I'm Mike the Gardener.